Hi Malters! Um, we're gonna start doing some fun videos to help keep you guys learning and having fun outside during these indoor times. Um, and in this installment we're gonna learn how to identify this little guy right here and we're gonna learn about some different types of these trees. So to start off we're gonna say that this is a beech tree. And it's kind of funny because we're not at the beach, we're in Vermont, but there are still these trees all over the place. So the main thing that I like to look for when I see a beech tree is a lot of the time, even in the winter, you can see these really crinkly leaves. And when the wind blows, you can hear them. They all rustle just like that. They're like whispering in the wind. And even if you can't see these in the winter, you can look at the tree and if you come closer, you can look and focus on the bark right here. So when I'm looking at a tree and I think to myself, I think this could be a beech tree, but I'm not sure. There's one question that I always ask myself and it's gonna, it's gonna make you laugh. But the question is, does the bark look like elephant skin? And so I know you're laughing right now, but it's true. When you look at this tree, if you were to take away all the branches and just look at the, the main trunk, you would say, oh, that could be the leg of a baby elephant. It's smooth, it's a little grayish. Um, it has some texture to it, but not a lot. It's still along that smooth side. Think to yourself, could that be elephant skin? And if you answer yes, you're probably looking at a beech tree. So if you're looking at the bark and you're still unsure, you can, also look at what's lying on the ground or maybe what's still attached to the tree and that's the leaf itself and so a beech leaf is very unique and characteristic to this species of tree and first off the leaf it's pretty much an oval like it's not a circle and it's like was extended on top and bottom and now in every leaf in the world you have two things called teeth and veins. The veins are these lines that run from the middle out to the very edge. And then at the edge of that vein, there are teeth. Now, on a beech tree, there is a rule. You have one vein for one tooth. Okay, there are other species of tree like hickory that don't follow this rule. They have more teeth than veins. Now on this beech leaf, you can see that this vein right here goes all the way out and there's only one tooth, one point. And this goes true for the whole leaf. So the last thing about beaches that is kind of tricky sometimes is that it's a very typical beach. So we looked at it, it has the elephant leg, it's very smooth and it has these crinkly leaves. But there's a, there's a type of disease that some beaches face called beech bark disease. And it makes you, when you look at that tree, you think, oh, that can't be a beech because it looks so different. But actually, there's one right behind this. So we can go to this tree, and this is also a beech tree. But you can see it has all these tiny little bumps and sometimes they even crack and they turn into holes. So this is actually beech bark disease and it's caused trees. Actually when this happens it usually means that eventually the beech will die because bacteria is able to get into these little holes and sneak into the tree. So when you're looking around for beaches, rem remember to also look for guys like these that are a lot more spotty because they're still beaches, they just have a different type of trunk. So. The last um, fact about beech trees is that they love each other. One beech tree is usually growing next to a whole bunch of beech trees. And the reason for this is because they have these nuts. And every year, a beech tree will produce nuts like an acorn, but they're called beech nuts and they fall right to the ground, close to the tree that they grew on. And if a beech tree produces, I don't know, 10,000 nuts, maybe a few of them will grow into other beech trees right close by and they form a little community 
And that's what makes all these beech trees really happy, that they get to grow next to each other. And I'm sure that they're talking, but we just can't hear them. <laughs>